So this is the all new 2024 Chaparral 267 SSX. The boat we have before us today is finished in a solid white hull with the black stripe. It's got the optional arch tower in black with the gray insert and it's fitted with the Mercury 6.2 300. At the front of the boat, you can see you've got a four step stainless steel boarding ladder where you have the grab handle, which folds away into the anchor locker. You've also got these great forward facing docking lights, which have nav lights integrated into them. Stainless steel bow scuff plate with a towing eye and all of the hardware they use down the boat, including this rub rail, is stainless steel. The through hull fittings are all stainless. There's no cheap plastic on this boat. So something that stands out immediately to you when you see this boat is the sheer size and scale of this swim platform. One of the things that sets Chaparral apart is this infinity power step. And what happens here is this section folds out electrically, creating a big seat and some steps going up or down into the water. This platform is fitted with the optional foam flooring and on this boat it's been selected in grey. So at the forward edge of the platform you can see there's loads more features. On each side you've got a fixed cleat, a stainless steel transom shower, two speakers integrated there. Quality is continued on everything they do on the boat. The weight of that shower just says it all. So this boat's fitted with twin fuel fillers just for convenience. So there's one on each side of the boat. So whichever side you pull up at the fuel dock, it makes your life easier. So the rear bench on the back of this seat is enormous. It'll take up to four people. There's a cup holder on the port side and directly above it, there's a conveniently located trim switch and a stereo control system. But another thing that sets this boat apart from the competition is the trick it has here. In one easy swoop, it turns this into a four person sun lounger. But when you've done that, it does not affect your access into the boat in any way whatsoever. So boarding the boat is very simple on either side or off the stern. Your platform sits nice and tightly alongside the pontoon and access into it is equally simple. So as you can see, there's a huge cockpit on this boat. You've got nice L-shaped seating on this side and another two person seat over here. There's lots of nice blue LED lighting as well. And the speakers have internal lighting as well. Under this side here, you've got a flip up seat base and then an additional lid, which reveals an insulated cooler. So under this seat, there's another enormous locker which houses a standard electric pump for inflating your water toys with. There's also non-slip matting in all of these lockers. So this boat's fitted with the optional cockpit table. This has a stainless steel leg, and when you're not using it here, you can either use it in the bow or it'll store nice and tidy away in the locker in a designated area. So the rear bench seat here is fantastic. It can get four people across it. It's got a grab handle here, which not only does it help you deploy the sun pad, it also gives you something to hold on to when underway. Under the seat is the access to the inboard engine. The engine hatch is supported by two gas struts, which make it extremely strong. And down in the engine compartment next to this Mercury 6.2300, you've got a inboard fire extinguisher system, which is automatic. There's loads of detailing on this upholstery. There's lots of diamond stitching, contrasting colors, and really nicely stitched panels. The helm and passenger seat have integrated grab handles, which gives somewhere else for the passengers to hold on to when underway. There's a great size ski locker in the floor on this boat, which locks, lifts up, has a gas support on it, and a gutter that runs around it to stop water running in. And that's taken away with the cockpit drainage system. So there's fantastic comfort on this boat. Both the passenger and the helmsman have equal comfort. They both have this really nice, comfortable armrest, which is missing on so many boats. These great bucket seats, which are vented. They have a suspension system in them, a flip up bolster and easy access out. They also have two control levers on the top to slide forwards and backwards and spin around. The comfort and safety continues up here with a nice long grab handle for the passenger. It's stainless steel. It's elliptical in shape for optimum comfort, a charging wireless cradle for your phone and more USBs and charging points directly below. This dashboard also hides a fantastic feature on the boat. By dropping this lever and opening, you've got a huge, beautifully appointed toilet compartment with sink and electric flush toilet. So everything's repeated for the helm that you've had with the passenger, but obviously we've got the steering wheel here, which for ultimate comfort has uh, an adjustable angle to it. It's leather wrapped, stainless steel, and has a center chaparral logo 
which spins and always stays centre to the steering wheel. The armrest on this boat is perfectly positioned for this digital throttle from Mercury, so you're in a really comfortable driving position. Over to my right, we've got the controls for the trim tabs, which are optional on this boat. And then all of the switches on this boat are backlit when not in use, and then they change color so you know they're on. All of your gauges come through a Mercury Vassal View system through the 12 inch Simrav display here. Not only does that give you all your engine data, it can give you your depth, your navigation, or whatever else you choose to plug into it. And it's very straightforward to use as well. It's touchscreen, but it also has these controls and wheels to use if it's rough or your fingers are wet. So as I said previously, the position at the helm of this is fantastic, really comfortable, but you also get a great line of sight directly through the center of the windscreen. This windscreen as well is really nice quality. It's finished with a stainless steel capping on it and is one piece stainless steel supports. So if you prefer to stand up when you're driving, which you don't need to do on this boat, you can flip up this bolster, stand up, brace the seat, or you can just sit a little bit higher for your comfort if you pull in a skier, for example. So if wakeboarding is your thing, you've got your towing point at the top of the tower here. You've also got your integrated anchor light at the top. Another great trick this boat has is if you want to go under a low bridge or you need to get the boat into a low garage, for instance, you can press this button here and it lowers your air draft. So to extend your boating season on a cooler day, this boat is fitted with the uh, bow door. So when combined with the windscreen, it just prevents the draft. Directly behind this door is a stainless steel catch and there's a good size bin there for your rubbish. So coming through to the bow is very straightforward. With this door open, you walk straight through and when you're underway, you always have the screen closed and locked from the other side. Tailing on the upholstery and comfort is continued straight through into the bow. There's lots of great detailing with the diamond stitching, the SSX logo embroidered into the backrest. And this upholstery sweeps right the way around the boat. So they've not cut any corners here. The comfort is there wherever you sit. So there's two speakers up in the bow, all fitted nicely and backlit with these blue LEDs, which continue directly under the backrest. You've also got two stainless steel cup holders on each side of the boat. So wherever you're sitting in the bow on this boat, it's comfortable. You have easy access to this grab handle and you also have, when you're facing forward, these comfortable armrests as well. So directly under this seat, there's a tab here, which if you lift it, reveals a huge locker, which even has a light in there. There's also a locker on the opposite side as well. Underneath this locker here, when you lift it, Again, fitted with friction hinges, you have the anchor locker, which has these two tabs here to hold your anchor into position when you're underway, so it's not slamming around and taking chunks out of your boat. And also the ladder folds away into this locker. So for more information on the all-new Chaparral 267 SSX or anything else in the Chaparral range, please do get in contact, give us a call on 01758 703 013, visit our website or email us sales at idealboat.com. Thanks for watching.